Good evening. Working for the National Geographic has been the best experience that I can imagine. It's hard to translate that into emotion uh, to something other people can understand. When I was growing up, I was not the guy that people would have expected to have the career of his dreams. First, I was born in Hayes, Kansas, which is not the intersection of art, culture, and science. <laughs> and on top of that, school was really difficult. Not just hard, but I was dyslexic, and I had a hard time reading, writing, anything that had to do with school, except for art, was difficult for me. And I have to think back to a family trip in 1975 in Grand Lake, Colorado. I took my parents' camera, I ran down to the lake, and I shot a picture of a sailboat. But for me, it's ironic that I'm essentially doing something to fill my time, but I was hooked. So I was lucky. I got to work at Kansas State at this great newspaper, uh, The Collegian, and then I got an internship at the Philadelphia Inquirer. So I did a story about Greg Tutt, a boxer, who trained in Joe Frazier's gym and worked really hard. I admired his dedication and his hard work. I remember the article really well. It ran in the Sunday Magazine, and it was written by a well-known writer, Steve Lopez, and the opening line of the story was, Greg Tutt is walking through a neighborhood that's going nowhere and taking everybody with it. And to me, you know, I had to, in a sense, compete on the same page as people who could write like that. So it was very uh, important to me to work as hard as I could to deserve a place at that table. And working in Philadelphia led me to another amazing opportunity. I had always wanted to work for Sports Illustrated. I had done a lot of my college work in sports. A guy named uh, Buzz Bissinger, who was a writer at the Philadelphia Inquirer, won a Pulitzer, and I had heard that he was leaving the newspaper to go do a book about high school football in Texas. And I went up and showed him the work, and I said, you know, you should hire me to go do that work for you. <laughs> and uh, it worked out. I moved to Odessa, Texas for a while and shot pictures for a book, Friday Night Lights, which is, you know, turned into the TV show and the movie and all these things. We were looking at race, at the boom-bust cycle of oil, parents living through their kids. This is the quarterback of the team, Mike Winchell, who was always kind of a loner because of all the pressure on him. And this is still one of my favorite pictures, not just from that book, but you know, I really enjoyed this picture. They had 5.30 a.m. call for football, five days a week, double practices. They worked harder than, uh, than most people do. And then they lost. They lost to Midland Lee, their arch rivals, which for me, a lot of my sports photography, I enjoy the winning and the losing photos. I, I like action pictures, but I was kind of always more drawn to the emotion in the pictures. But also, there was a serious side to the, some of the work I was doing. I, I live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and I was getting ready to leave the country on the 12th for a trip to Thailand for, um, for a story for the magazine. And uh, you know, I got a call from my fiance, and she said, a plane hit the World Trade Centers. And I looked out the building, and I, could, I actually had a view of that. So I ran to the roof of my building. I got to the roof at, uh, I think, 8.58 or so. And uh, you know, was just composing the picture with the smoke going downtown. These are uh, pictures I shot that ran in uh, Time magazine. I'm very conflicted about these images, but it is a very big part of my career. I'm glad that I did my job correctly. There's a horrible situation. It was a horrible thing to watch. But I do realize they're important pictures, and I'm happy that I've done work that is now in um, history books. And uh, I, I had some pictures in a book uh, about war photography and an exhibit at the Corcoran. There was a film, and I, there was a military historian talking about my pictures, and he said, uh, and I hadn't thought about it this way at all. He said that it's very rare that you have a picture of a war starting. <laughs>